what is a virtual private network and how does a VPN work? The first time I heard about VPN, I had something like this image in my mind, something very complex and too complicated to understand. But actually it's not so bad. So if we think about how you usually go into the internet, maybe even you use a private or incognito window in your browser, but actually that only means that your browser doesn't save any data. But once your computer connects to the internet, your internet service provider connects you to the internet. And well, yes, this is a very old picture, but I think it makes it obvious how um, it works with the internet service provider. They connect you. Of course, now nowadays they use software, but basically it's the same. They connect you directly to the internet. And they can save all kind of data about you because they see all the data going between you and the internet because it's all going through the internet service provider, right? So, um, and in some countries they even have to save the data for a certain amount of time and um, sometimes they have automatic filters depending on which websites you visit or what you're doing um, there will be a flag or they will be notified and then you might get legal letters or your internet speed will be throttled because you're torrenting maybe and of course as you go through the internet all kind of spy agencies can see what you're doing and they see where you are what you're doing there's a cool list actually on the on Wikipedia with all kind of intelligence services so all of them can basically see probably like probably can see what you're doing the United States has a lot of them the UK has quite a few and but every country has a security um, agency but also the websites you visit can see you and after that follow you around the web that's called retargeting and um, so if you visit a website then afterwards you might notice that you get a lot of advertising from this specific website because they try to make you buy or come back to the website so basically even if you use a private or incognito window you're basically almost naked on the net so everyone can see where you are everyone can see what you do your internet service provider or government can block websites. Websites can use geo-blocking on you. For example, if you try to watch US Netflix outside the US or um, any other TV station streaming um, from outside the country, if you try to watch BBC iPlayer outside the UK, you will run into problems. Your internet service provider can throttle your torrenting or up and download stream depending on if they like it or not and you might even get legal letters for copyright infringements and let me just show you basically if you search for what's my IP even Google shows my IP with no problem and if we go to this website we can even get a map with the location of my current IP address so it's somewhere in London where I'm logged into the internet and just for fun let's start a new incognito window right let's see what happens there show my IP and um, do we have the same webs? Um, let's let's take a different website. Doesn't matter. There are many websites showing the IP, and we see well London, city of London, and as you can see, this is quite the same as the one before. Here it's basically the same. So every website can see my real IP address at the moment and can see where I'm from and what I'm doing. So basically this incognito window only means that the browser itself is not saving any data on this session. But everyone else, as mentioned, can see what I'm doing 
on the internet. So the solution is a virtual private network VPN, which is basically a software you install or an app you install on your phone plus servers all around the world. And there are companies providing this kind of service. And then basically you're tunneling through the internet and entering the internet where you want. So what the so software does is first of all, it encrypts all your data. So this is an image of an old Enigma encryption machine. But nowadays, of course, they use up-to-date military grade encryption. So no one will be able to see what exactly you're doing. And your internet service provider will still connect you to the internet or to the server of your VPN provider in the location you selected. But they see only random numbers or random data because it's all encrypted, right? So they cannot save anything or filter anything. And then, well, I found some nice old pictures with switchboards representing the software on the servers of the VPN provider. You can decide to log into the internet in the US and the server will connect you to the internet and they do not save any data. And usually those companies are um, situated in some countries like the Cayman Islands or Gibraltar or whatever islands which do not have to save any data and that's um, their business model that they provide safe access to the internet without saving any data. So once the VPN connection is established you are completely safe, encrypted and anonymous on the internet. No one will be able to track back where you're from, what you're doing and so on, no matter what you're doing online. So no one can see where you are, no one can see what you do, unblock you can unblock any kind of website, bypass any geo filters on websites, there will be no more throttling for your torrenting and it will be impossible to get legal letters for copyright infringements because no one actually sees what you're doing. But high speed encrypted internet is not for free of course, you get what you pay for. So if you get a free VPN service, well you can try it but running a network of servers all around the world is not for free for the company so they have to make money somehow and um, yeah you can try but I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend to get a good quality fast VPN. Let me show you how easy this works. So at the moment as you can see I'm logged in somewhere in the UK because of course I didn't want to show my real IP address here. So let me just disconnect. Um, at the moment I'm using ExpressVPN but there's, um, there are several other providers and below the video I will publish a list. You just click on show more and you will still see the list of VPN providers I can recommend although my favorite is ExpressVPN and in my channel you can find many more videos about what you can do with VPNs. But let's go back to ExpressVPN. So let's select another location. Let's go to the Asia Pacific. Let's choose Japan. So we log into Tokyo right now. And as you can see, now we're connected. Let's go back to our IP test. Let's reload the search and we see the IP is different now. Now let's go to, and as you can see on the map, um, here we are somewhere in Japan right now. But also all my data is encrypted right now so it can see my IP address but not what I'm doing. So as mentioned, if you're interested in a good VPN, go below the video and click on show more to see the full list of VPN providers I can recommend. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up.